Hello, London. Thanks for being here today. It's so important. It's so good to see you out here, all of you. We are going to win this fight. Remember, when the Spanish company that was hired to, to oversee the security of Julian Assange decided to turn on him and spying on him instead, the relationship he had with his uh, doctors and lawyers all was monitored, all was gathered, all was sent to the United States. This was paid for by the biggest financial backer of the Republican Party, Donald Trump, and now Mike Pompeo. Spying on Assange. And the staff of the company knew exactly who they were working for, where the material would go to. It would go to the CIA. In internal emails, they said, we are now working for the dark force. And that is exactly what we're dealing with today. We're dealing with the dark force. We're dealing with a dark force that is growing in its power and its overreach. It's a dark force that decides that they can assassinate people, high level officials in foreign countries with drone attacks. It's a dark force who kills children in war zones. It's a dark force that with impunity assassinate Reuters journalists, as we exposed in the collateral murder video. It's a dark force that now wants Julian extradited to the United States and thrown in a cell to spend the rest of his days there. We must stop it. We must stop this force. This is not about left or right in politics. We can unite on this. It's a dark force versus us who want justice, transparency, accountability, and truth. We have the momentum with us. Please tell everybody that you know that they have to side with Assange and fight against the extradition. If they tell you, I would rather fight for the environment or uh, and against animal cruelty or gender equality, tell them they are about to take every right away from you. You will not be able to fight for any other cause. We are talking about the fundamentals here. We must fight against the extradition. We must save Julian Assange.